Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be doing a review for the Raz 1 Lucian 2. Number 2, not the red one, the blue one. The number 2. This is the one that was was designed to work with PlayStation 5. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Raz 1 Lucian Brook did not send this to me for free. I paid $128 for it so that I could use this to play Gran Turismo 7 in PSVR 2. So everything you hear from me on this is going to be 100% from me, man. Like 100%. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually a little bit irritated with this thing right now. I've, I, I just, I just was recording a video. There was a big long rant in that. I'm not gonna put that up because that seemed a little bit extreme for, for what, for what's going on. But I want to take a minute and I want to reiterate just how big of a money pit sim racing is this is a money pit 128 dollars to use my sim rig to play with <laughs> to play one game Ugh! but i can't complain too much i just spent 550 dollars to play one game so the Raz One Lucian product, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to do a race for you and everything in this. I'm going to do a VR race for you, so this is going to be interesting. I'm frustrated, man, because I'm supposed to have force feedback and I got no force feedback. So I'm going to jump over here in the seat, put on the... Um, going to put on the um, VR2 and we're going to jump into that. But first I'm going to go ahead and make my screen which is me, a little bit smaller. As you can see, Gran Turismo 7 is already behind us. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so you can uh, just so you can see what's going on. And I, and I want to talk about this because I want to talk about this experience and I want to give you my thoughts on this product and the pricing and all of that. So let's get over here. Uh, first of all, I do want to draw attention to you. Uh, let me make the let me make the screen big just for one more second. I want to go ahead and give you show you the product. I already did an unboxing, but I didn't do a video for it. So this here's what you get. This is the product. Now this this plug right right into your PlayStation 5. This here will be your wheel right in there. There is a second USB port on this so that you can plug in like a shifter or some other peripheral to to make that work. Um I bought this specifically to use with my camus direct drive wheel and sad face it doesn't work but this product is supposed to work if you go with moza um or fanatec it, it will work with either one of those but as it sits right now it is not working with camus and that is frustrating sim racing is a money pit Sim racing is a money pit so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this i'm gonna go ahead and get into the cockpit now and we're gonna go ahead and uh we're going to go ahead and, uh, come on, get back over here, buddy. Get back over here, little buddy. All right, we're going to go ahead and get in here. We're going to do some racing. I'm going to show you this. Uh, I'm going to talk to you while I'm driving because, yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated right now. So, excuse me while I get set up. Oh, boy. Let's get the microphone over here so you can hear the gibberish that's coming out of my mouth. All right, we're going to put our headset on. We're going to get adjusted. Okay. Uh, nope, we're not doing that. Uh, why do I need to scan again? This is so annoying. I was just literally sitting down. Come on, man. This is so annoying. Come on. Oh. Gosh, just freaking go already. I just want to sit down. I hate how it does that. See, like, it, everything just gets a little bit frustrating, man. Oh, especially when you're trying to make a video. All right. Now, I just got done doing a couple of laps. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, all right, so... We are on the track with our no force feedback, but there is a little bit of tension in the wheel. So, I mean, at least you got that, but we'll try to do a, try to do a lap here on the Nordschleife. Ooh. 
see like you're basically gonna have to try to do all this out of muscle memory and that and that sucks man like that see you need you need force feedback especially in a game like Gran Turismo where it already just feels floaty you have to have the you have to have the force feedback and this is frustrating man spending hundred and twenty dollars on a product that's supposed to give you force feedback and full compatibility out of your will and uh, dude this thing sees the 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 TX the Thrustmaster TX is a T150 it sees it as a T150 so I mean already that's kind of at a disadvantage when it's supposed to be something closer to a, to a T300 like you just don't have it just yeah this this uh, I mean anything's better than using a controller but this is essentially like hooking up a T80 <laughs> a T80 to play some Gran Turismo man you get like the little bungee cords and that's about it um, <laughs> so frustrating man it it could be such a great experiment or it, this could have been such a great product for me to recommend for for a lot of people man but dude I can't recommend this product if it's not gonna work out of the box I'm gonna have to sit here and I'm gonna have to go through all kinds of stuff to try to figure out how to get this thing working man I've tried getting into the Gran Turismo settings and making it work um, I have tried it with the Seto Corsa Competizione. Uh, I'll have to try it with other racing games that I have. I think I might have uh, WRC Generations downloaded. So I guess I can give that one a shot. But the fact that it doesn't work on two of the games already, I guess I can download some uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 as well and see if it'll work on that one. Uh, but the fact that it doesn't work on two games already and I've been sitting here for like two and a half hours trying to get it to, to work and I've been recording videos and just been really frustrated with those videos because I, I I bought it to get it with my Camus because I want to use my direct drive wheel on here and uh, the reason why I bought it is because they said it would work with uh, the Moses so I was just figuring that man maybe it'll work with uh, maybe it'll work with Camus you know maybe, maybe that's maybe that's something but no man Camus you know they're 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 pretty new to the scene they don't really know that not a lot of people really know about them yet so it it does it kind of it kind of sucks and now here I am stuck on my Thrustmaster TX playing Gran Turismo and I mean this was this was always going to be like the last ditch resort anyway so it just sucks that I was I was right here very quickly it, it just sucks that I was back to this very quickly and I don't even get force feedback support that's probably what I'm the maddest about is I'm already on you know the uh, my 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 bottom choice with the with the Thrustmaster and yeah, dude, I'm not even getting like a full fledged experience and that makes me mad. That that does it makes me mad. I waited three days for this thing to show up. I paid 120 bucks. Um, I don't want to have to sit and wait for my money to come back to me. So I'm stuck with a product that just doesn't seem to freaking work. And I know they're like, oh yeah, get a hold of our uh, support and blah blah blah. And I will, I will. But you're getting you're getting that raw footage of me buying the product and telling you exactly how the experience went. So now I get to sit and try to figure out how to get this thing to work. Um, if it does work, start working. I will make a detailed video of how I got it to work and what I had, what steps I had to go through just to get this thing to work. In um, I did update the firmware. Uh, you can update the firmware directly from just an app on your phone, so that was pretty cool. That is that is kind of forward thinking, updating that through Bluetooth. But I would recommend you know updating it, you know if you got a PC or something. Actually, I don't really trust this product. That's why I did it on my phone. <laughs> don't I, I don't know, man. I just updated the the thing on my phone and like the stuff they want, like they want access to your pictures and you know your your voice and all that other stuff so I don't know man uh, I believe this is a Chinese company or a Taiwanese company or something so that's something to also think about like when you see the when you see the marketing and stuff it, it makes you think like it's a Japanese company but I don't know if that's the case I think it's I think it's from Taiwan or something I mean it doesn't really matter but it is it is good to know that you know what kind of support you can kind of expect out of this 
which I don't I don't know man I don't know I got it off of Amazon so I'm pretty sure you'll get the Amazon treatment whatever the Amazon treatment is I normally just I've never found out what the Amazon treatment is but I'm gonna definitely be leaving a pretty good uh, pretty good review over on Amazon for this thing man definitely gonna get a good one out of me for this product because it really sucks, man. We got some thunder and lightning going on. A lot of wind outside right now, too. It's insane. <laughs> Woo, boy. Man, I'm, I'm frustrated. You can tell. And I don't mean to take it out on Brooke. You know, I don't mean to take it out on this company. But I'm frustrated. I'm irritated. I waited three days and I wanted to play this. I mean, think about it, dude. The $120 is what? The shipping and uh, tax on a, on a, on a new product like a... <laughs> <laughs> on a on a on a Fanatec setup or something. Oh man, see, oh dang, need a little bit more brakes there, sir. Oh, so yeah, dude, that's that's pretty much it. But I want to tell you guys that like, oh man, PlayStation VR two, Gran Turismo seven, so cool. I just wish that I was having an optimal experience right now. I I do. I feel. <sighs> I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty sad right now. Just wanted to spend the weekend really making some freaking GT7 content and uh, on PSVR2. So it sucks, man. It's like why does the stars have to line up right for? And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why because I'm so freaking just I I don't just go out and buy what I need to buy, man. I should just buy what I need to buy. So, all right, guys, if you like this content, well, actually, let me get out of this headset before I try to do my, uh, let me get out. Oh, okay, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and get out. Uh, we're going to pause the game. Uh, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and bring our, bring our complainingness back over to the big screen. Back over to the big screen, guys. Sorry, man. Like, I'm not trying to make this a super long video, but I want it to at least be long enough for... Come on, what? Are we not going to work, really? Okay, there we go. So, we're back. We're, uh... Yeah, man. I mean, if you've been at this... If you've been at this channel for a while, you know that, that I... I just buy a whole bunch of products, man. I, I just... I was trying to find the quickest, easiest fix, and I thought this was it. It does work for the most part don't get me wrong if this thing was giving me force feedback i would 100 percent recommend this product i'd be like yes go buy this right now because this is awesome so <clears throat> but i also want to i also want to take a second and compare it to the drive hub yes i bought a drive hub a long time ago this here will only work on playstation 4 so the resolution one is already working with the ps5 and here's the difference man on this on the on the drive hub man this thing would cut out like every 10 minutes i would lose force feedback i would lose whatever i mean it would still work you know just like this one's working right now but this one here is not even giving me force feedback but the other one was the other one was man it was giving me force feedback but it would cut out like every 10 minutes or so i guess there is a way to get this one here the the drive hub working with your uh working with your ps5 but you're gonna have to buy the uh gosh i think it, what, what, what are they saying it's like a hori like a hori corded controller and uh now everybody wants a premium for those they want like 60 bucks for them the ps4 one but i don't think you'll i mean yeah you'd be able to use it on gran turismo 7 but that's i might i might actually pick one of those up too and, and try it but yeah dude this is cool this is this product does work but it is not doing it's not working with the thing i've tried everything so if you guys like this content don't forget to like and subscribe man i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching